This is my platform. I can do anything food related. Today's cake tip is gonna be how to make a teddy bear. You can do this with Play-Doh. You can get fondant at the store and you can play with this stuff. You wanna break down the structure of the teddy bear into basic shapes. His head is kind of round. It's almost like a cone, right? That's his head. His body is really all torso. And the torso is really just a big meatball. There's his body. His arms and his legs are just gonna be tubes. You just kind of roll a little thingy here. Pull off one, and then you're gonna make it into like a little ramp, you see that? Take a tiny, tiny bit of water, make this sticky, and then underneath his head, the water is activating the sugar in the fondant and that's making it sticky. Same thing with his little feet. And so what do I got so far? I got four cylinders, a ball, and a cone. All right, easy. And now let's give him some little ears. And what I'm gonna do is, I got a disc, and I'm gonna make a little dent so it fits on his head. And there's his ears. I'm gonna get two little tiny balls that are equal size. And then I'm just gonna flatten these out a bit on the table so I can see them right next to each other and make sure they're the same size. Same thing with the black. I'm gonna do it smaller. Just like you're rolling a booger. And now I'm just putting his, his pupils on. You take your fingers, you put your thumb like this and your fingers like this. When you press them together, you say you get that little triangle and you can see like light through that little tiny triangle. I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm just gonna put a piece of fondant in there and get a little triangle. And that's his nose. That is a teddy bear. Now this is how you can kind of learn how to, you know, start to sculpt with sugar and sculpt with fondant and, you know, it's nice. It'll definitely make a cake look good. Thank you, Bear. What do you, uh, what do you think of my Cthulhu, Duff? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Subscribe to Hungry and feed your food obsession.